It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so Intermountain Healthcare, the sponsors of this segment, is back to remind you to get a risk assessment and screening. My name is Dr. Farrell with Intermountain Healthcare, uh, and October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about breast cancer risk assessment and how we do that in our clinic. So breast cancer is actually the most common cancer diagnosed in women today. It affects one in eight women. There's currently 3.5 million women living with breast cancer in the United States. Just gonna take a listen to your heart. So some of the risk factors for breast cancer are things that we can change about ourselves, like smoking, alcohol use, and also our weight. Being obese actually puts us at risk for breast cancer. And then there's things that we can't change. So our age is a risk factor. That risk increases the older we get. And there's also genetic factors that may run in our family that put us at risk as well. So screening is of critical importance when it comes to breast cancer. The reason for that is the earlier breast cancer is caught, the more treatable it is. In all, breast cancer, the five-year survival is 90%, but that changes to 98% when it's diagnosed at stage one, and when it's caught later, say stage four, that survival decreases to 37%. Women should begin screening for breast cancer at age 40, and it should occur every one to two years, and this is for average risk women. Women determined to be at an elevated risk for breast cancer based on their family history may need screening at an earlier age than 40. So when a patient comes into see me at Intermountain Healthcare, what we do for their breast cancer screening is order a mammogram. A mammogram takes a look at the breast through x-ray imaging, and then a physician called a radiologist reads the images for me to interpret. Some signs of breast cancer that I would be worried about that a patient may bring to me would be a new breast pain or changes of the breast, that is most important. So if a woman notices rashes or dimpling or nipple discharge, all of that should be brought to my attention. A woman should bring up her medical history and family history with her healthcare provider to determine if she's considered average risk or high risk for breast cancer. Here at Intermountain Healthcare, we take care of women at all stages of life. So be sure to make your mammogram appointment for Breast Cancer Awareness Month and beyond. Thank you to Intermountain Healthcare for sponsoring this segment. Head to intermountainhealthcare.org slash Nevada for more information. 